Canadian Federalism, Understanding the Great North. Hello, dear learners. Today, we are going to dive into the heart of Canadian politics, exploring a topic that's foundational to the way Canada functions, federalism. Join us as we unpack what federalism means in a Canadian context, how it shapes the country's governance, and why it's important for anyone seeking to understand the true North. Federalism, in a general sense, refers to a system of government where power and responsibilities are divided between a central, national, government and regional, provincial or state, governments. In Canada, this means that there are some responsibilities and powers that belong solely to the federal government in Ottawa, some that belong solely to the provincial and territorial governments, and some that are shared. Canada became a country in 1867 with the passage of the British North America Act, now known as the Constitution Act, 1867. This act laid the foundation for Canadian federalism, establishing the roles and responsibilities of both federal and provincial governments. It was essential for Canada, with its vast land and diverse population, to have a system that allowed regional representation and autonomy. Federalism provided a solution, ensuring that provinces could cater to the specific needs of their residents while still being part of a united nation. The Constitution Act 1867 lists the powers that are exclusive to the federal and provincial governments. Here's a brief overview. Federal powers, national defense, criminal law, immigration, postal services, and currency. Provincial powers, education, health, transportation within the province, and property rights. There are also shared powers, such as agriculture and immigration, where both levels can legislate, but federal laws take precedence in case of conflict. Federalism in Canada serves several purposes. 1. Protecting regional interests. Given Canada's size and diversity, federalism allows provinces to have a voice and address regional concerns. 2. Flexibility and innovation. Provinces can experiment with policies and best practices, which can then be adopted by other provinces or the federal government. 3. Checks and balances. Both levels of government can act as a check against each other, preventing any misuse of power. Federalism is an intricate yet fundamental part of Canadian politics and governance. By ensuring a balance between centralized authority and regional autonomy, it encapsulates the spirit of Canada, a country that celebrates diversity while staying united. We hope this deep dive into Canadian federalism has been enlightening. Keep exploring, and until next time, happy learning!